Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a comparison video of the Omega Moon Swatches. Now, wristwatch check, I'm wearing my Mission to Pluto with Baby Pluto. Say hi, buddy. Yeah. So, with the comparison, Moon Swatches come in all different types of colors. These two are my partners, being the Venus and the Uranus. And mine is the Mission to Pluto right there. That's what it looks like on my 6.3, 6.5 inch wrist. Now, a lot of people have been introduced to watches because of the Moon Swatch. And to me, I think they're quite fun little pieces. Especially with the design of the Moon Swatches being the Speedmaster. As well as having some quirky quirky features about them as you can see from the back of these cases each moon swatch has its own personality firstly having a look at the mission to Uranus it's got that nice Tiffany colored blue or baby blue more like a baby blue to be honest and this mission to Uranus, Uranus is uh, quite fresh as you can see it's new still got the sticker on the front white strap simple colorway but it's quite lovely it's quite nice and this is my partner's I got this for her recently as she's not into watches so she's not really a watch person but you know, she's slowly getting into them and like with many other people the moon swatch has introduced a lot of non-watch people into watches which is a great thing for the hobby I think next we've got the mission to Venus and I'm not sure if you can tell but the glass isn't sapphire of course not for the price point why would it be now nah, nah, it's more closer to a plastic but it does scratch quite easily so uh, poly watch would definitely be recommended to help uh, maintain the glass itself finally the mission to Pluto now I got this watch because the dog here is named Pluto, right? So baby Pluto the Frenchie, follow him on Instagram. Uh, this is a bit of a homage to Pluto in a sense. And I don't mind the watch, man. Like, I quite like it. I don't wear it often. I actually only really wear it when I'm walking Pluto. Uh, and I usually time using the chronograph function, right? Which is pretty cute, as you can see. Uh, it's good for what it is. It's nothing, nothing um, that'll blow your mind or anything. But it's good for what it is. The strap feels cheap as shit. The watch itself feels like a feels like a toy. It's cheap as shit. But for what it is, it's quite nice, right? So definitely, if you had an opportunity to get one. Whatever color it is, by all means, do it. I'm actually thinking of getting some straps for this here. I actually put, I put this on a Speedmaster NATO before. The one that came with the big box professional. Here's a photo of it. And yeah, I, fuck, <laughs> I, I sold that Speedmaster, but... I kind of wish I still had that NATO strap, but here we are. So that's the Omega Moon Swatch. Let me know if you guys have picked one up for yourselves. Uh, your thoughts on it. I know a lot of people don't like this watch. Uh, people who are in the hobby have told me that uh, it does, you know, to their opinion, it cheapens the Speedmaster's legacy, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I see where they're coming from. Because I used to own an actual professional Moon Watch, uh, it did kind of feel a bit... Mm, the watch wasn't really that special anymore, kind of milking the fuck out of it, you know, to get some of that sweet, sweet profit. But, in the end of the day, it is it is what it is. I really don't give a shit uh, about it tarnishing the Speedmaster legacy or whatever the fuck that some people are talking about. It's okay. Like, to me, it's fine. I really like the Pluto, to be honest. The Pluto's quite nice. And these for my partner, she quite likes these designs as well. So, that's it for now. See you guys next one.